Why do they call it oven when you of in the cold out of the hot eat oven and eat the food? Yeah, hey, you know what? Life's greatest mysteries being questioned and answered here live on Dogbit's channel. What made you begin streaming again? I love streaming with a burning passion. There is literally no job that I can think of that I would rather do than be streaming. Streaming is literally my dream job. I love it. I hate it. I hate Wesker. I hate this game. I want to die. I'm jumping off the bridge tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> I just did he even break. He didn't even break it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, what I was saying is I, I fucking love streaming. Like, I, I, I can't I don't want to live without streaming like I, I just I, I want to stream and so despite me working a full-time job like right now I work like I work like 50 hours a week right now like I work a lot even even doing that I will stream in my spare time as much as I possibly can because I'm so I'm so determined to be financially successful while streaming the reason why I quit is because I wasn't making enough money so I had to get a job and I was like, this is over. Like, I can't go back to streaming. Like, it's not going to work out. But then I was like, I have to at least try, keep trying no matter what to become successful streaming. Even if I'll never actually get popular or financially stable streaming, I have to at least try because I love this job with a burning passion. I fucking love streaming. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. Literally, there's no other job that I'd rather be doing. Except maybe acting, but that's like kind of the same thing. Acting and streaming are both like, but streaming is better though. Acting is not like, I mean, I like it. I like acting a lot, but it's a little bit harder than streaming. Streaming is easy and super fucking fun. Well, it's not easy, but it's, to me, it's easy. Like, let me just put it to you this way. If I was to become a full-time streamer as my job, I would not work a day in my life ever again. Plus, streaming as a hobby is pretty fun. Well, here's the thing, second. I feel like I've had a lot of mental health issues throughout my lifetime of streaming because in the back of my mind, there's always this feeling of failure. Like I haven't, I haven't made it. Like I've, I have streamed, I have streamed for years. That's how long I've streamed for. I've streamed for years and I still haven't like made it financially. So, like, there's still this feeling in the back of my head of failure. But I'm still determined to keep going, even though I have that feeling of failure. Which is a very, a very, uh, it's not a very good feeling, let me tell you. It's hard. And then there's also, like, uncertainty and doubt, too. So there's, like, hey, I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever make it. I probably won't ever make it. <laughs> there's the there's the doubt and there's the uncertainty. Statistically speaking, it's like to make it as a streamer, you need you need consistency, you need time, you need dedication, and you need luck. There's an element of luck to streaming. Because sometimes sometimes you'll just have a clip that just goes viral for some fucking reason. You know, and that'll get you like a whole bunch of views and traffic and shit like that. And the thing is, it's kind of like fishing. The more, the more content you create, the more likely you are to get a bite on one of those things. But when you try over and over and over and over again, and you don't see any results, it's very, very, very painful. I don't know. It's... I can't not do it. I have to stream. I literally have to. I can't... I don't want to live without it. I don't want to stop streaming, no matter what. Like, literally, if I had to live in a fucking van and stream, I would be down. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was a terrible wait. I should not have been waiting there. I don't know why I waited there. 
I feel like a lot of people underestimate how tough it actually is to be a content creator streamer. I mean, it's, it's hard in some ways and it's easier in others. It's, it's very hard to become successful doing it. It's very hard to become successful doing it. I would even st I would even say that it's almost impossible to become successful doing it, but it's not. It's not impossible. And by the way, I don't even want to be like super duper famous or anything. I don't want to be like ninja or anything like that or like I don't want to be that famous. I just want to be able to do this for a job. That's it. I just want to if I could stream for minimum wage, that would be like we fucking made it, boys. Like we fucking made it. That would be, like, spectacular if that could do that. If you have one fan, it's going to be me. Thank you, Sim. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whoa! <laughs> Why didn't he kill me? He didn't kill... Oh, God. He killed me. He's not killing me because I'm ranting about my hopes and dreams. He's feeling bad for me now. This Wesker guy is like, dude, this guy's fucking... <laughs> this guy is <laughs> pouring his heart out. He doesn't want to kill me. Gotcha. Oh god, he got- okay. I was in fact the one who had gotten got. If you're doing it full time, you have to consistently be looking for new ideas, recording hours of gameplay, spending hours editing, unless you'll pay somebody to do that, but it's expensive. That's true. That's exactly right. You're 100% correct. You do. And to be honest with you, to be completely honest with you, one of the reasons I wasn't successful is because when I did have time to stream, and edit videos and all that, I was lazy. I did not work nearly as hard as I should have. I probably worked like 40% out of like 100%. 100% being like, I don't know, 10 hour days or something like that. If Dog has one fan, then I probably died because he's my favorite streamer. Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Streaming full-time requires you to sit down for like six to eight hours and do one to two things regardless how you want to do it or not. You have a bunch of people that want to not watch it with you. It would be annoying like me. That's okay. I'm glad you're here, clone. And thank you, Moonlight. I'm glad that you respect it. And all that for basically no pay. Okay, Simp, you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. I appreciate you being here. Back to what I was saying. Earlier clone, do you remember earlier clone when I said that losers make excuses? I think that I think there was a large chunk of time that I had that if I had worked my ass off, and I mean really worked to the bone, I think I could have been successful streaming. Financially, that is. Like I could have gotten more viewers, like I could have streamed longer, I could have worked more hours, I could have edited more games, I could have recorded more games, I could have posted more content. I could have done it, but I was just lazy. It's, to be honest with you, it's really hard to accept the fact that it's your fault for failure. It's really hard. It's a lot easier to just make excuses or something like that. And I did say earlier that streaming takes a little bit of luck to be successful but again it's also about like how many fishing poles you have trying to catch fish so if you're posting like 20 clips on tiktok every day that's a lot more fishing poles than one a day that's a lot more fishing poles than one every other day you, you see what i'm saying i really can't blame anybody except myself for the situation i'm in because i've been very lucky to have a community that does support me which again i'm so glad that all of you are here to help me i'm very thankful that you're all here i don't have you know thousands of viewers but i right now i have 14 which is a lot 14 is a lot of viewers like that's great if we could hit 14 viewers every day that would be a fa like fantastic first step so i'm very thankful for what i do have but um I don't know where I was going with that. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, Simo, and that's another thing, too. I've had two. I've had two really good editors. I mean, not just good. They were great. They were great. 
and I feel like I, I feel like I kind of take took them for granted. I never like exploited them or anything, but I feel like I kind of took them for granted, um, and didn't necessarily appreciate how much they were doing for me the whole time. Um, Simo is dead. Yeah. Well, Simo just has a full time job. That's all. Simo's been actually Simo's been working more than a full time job. He doesn't have almost any time to himself. Um. But yes, Simo is who I'm referring to. Simo, Simo and I have a very weird relationship because Simo is... Simo has helped me out so much. I mean, like, I, I fully trust Simo. Like, if I, ha I, if I had to, like, give him my account passwords and shit like that, I would do it if, like, I needed to or something and not even worry about it. Like, Simo is a great person. He's extremely trustworthy, and he's very good at editing and stuff like that, and being a mod and all that stuff. But we don't really have a very personal relationship. Like, we don't talk very much, almost at all. Which I think is just, like, part of his personality. Like, I just don't think he's, like... I don't think he really, like, wants to, like, hang out or, like, like sit and talk one-on-one -on -one for, like, long periods of time. He just kind of, like... Also, good job, Wesker, by the way. Anyway, there's just kind of like, I, I know that was a lot of rambling and a lot of this and a lot of that, but there's my, there's my uh, thoughts on streaming and why I'm streaming and what I think about streaming and all that other crap. Long story short, I love Simo. I want to be a streamer. I don't want to be super famous or popular. I just want to make a minimum wage streaming, basically. And number three, I will I will try to pursue streaming as much as I possibly can to become financially stable doing it. I am dedicated to getting there, which is a very long and difficult journey that's full of doubt, but I've already decided that I love doing it. I'm going to go play with that brother and keep your stream over, though. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, if you guys have...